Prospecting is my favorite part because you get to go out and you hike and there's always the possibility of finding something new and exciting. You're not working in a quarry where you already know what's there. You're working in a huge expanse of land where any hill could hold a new dinosaur and you never know what that dinosaur is going to be. This is the Hell Creek Formation and we're looking in here because it existed right at the end of the Cretaceous. Um, the latest sediment deposited here is about 65 million years old, which means that it coincided with the extinction of the dinosaurs. One very important thing to do while prospecting is you have to know what the bones look like. Um, most paleontologists have a very good grasp on anatomy and bones. Most of us take vertebrate paleontology courses so that we'll recognize bones of extinct animals as well as ones that are living today. And that way when we see fragments of bone, we can sometimes look at it and say, this is something specifically. This isn't just a piece of bone, this is part of a rib or part of a vertebrae or part of a skull. And that will actually help us to know maybe what sort of dinosaur we're looking at or what part of the dinosaur we're looking at. And that can be very helpful in knowing whether we want to pursue it. Well, here up on this hill, there's some fragments and some pieces of bone. And in fact, right here, there is a Triceratops toe bone that was sitting up here. This is the side that faces the body of the Triceratops, and this is the side that points towards its toes. The reason that we know this is a Triceratops is because it's so broad across, because um, duckbills have narrower toes. Um, in fact, most other dinosaurs have very narrower toes, but because Triceratops is so big and heavy and stout, it needed to have very wide toe bones. Um, so that's, that's an entire bone right there. And then we also have small fragments of bone that we don't necessarily know what they belong to. They were just random pieces of bone that broke off of the actual full bone. So we've got a lot of these little pieces, um, but not quite enough to, to show that there's a dinosaur here. So we'll probably want to keep looking.